Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is Toy Zero IQJ. Happy New Year to all. This is my first video of 2019. Thank you to all my recent subscribers and welcome to the channel. I really appreciate it. This week's video we're going to set up the LDD tuner for use on an ICOM IC718. So we'll take a close look at the tuner. You've got function, C up, C down auto, L up, high lows, L down, and thresh, tune, store, and your SWR and status in the LED indicators. Most playing along at home is a Z11 Pro from LD, LDG Electronics. On the top, you get your sticker and you've got your antenna connection, your ground, TX, radio in connection, and the power. Up till recently, I was using a bog standard patch cable and powering the tuner off an external source putting the tuner into auto mode kit up on the frequency and let the tuner work its magic but I wanted to use the connection or the button there which is the tuner button on the radio so I went out and bought a interface cable and this is the Moldex connector got your barrel jack and your radio connection it looks like a 3.5mm audio plug and that was about a tenner off eBay However, when I connected it all together and pushed the tuner button, nothing happened. So I thought, is this faulty? Is this faulty? Or is it the cable? I thought it was more likely to be the cable. It was none of them. It's because it hasn't been set up in the radio, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, let's connect to the tuner all back up. So we're going to plug the patch cable into the antenna socket on the radio. We're going to plug the other end of the cable into TX. We're going to plug our antenna from the outside. So my 11 meter antenna is going to go in there. We're going to plug in our interface cable. That connects into there. And then it goes into there, and it goes into there, and last but not least, the power cable for the radio goes into there. Let's turn it around. We power the radio on. And you see we're on 80 meters. Let's change it to 28. And if I give it a bit of volume. and push the tuner button you'll see that nothing happens so tuner is working function tune it's now an auto tune so if you power the radio off press and hold down set it says tuner on the screen if it doesn't say tuner you can use the up and down arrow keys to go through the menu so we're going to go tuner I'm going to change that to a number four. Apparently that emulates an AH4 tuner or something, according to um, a website that I found. We're going to turn the radio off and turn it back on again. And with a bit of luck, the tuner button will now work. There we go, come back SWR 1.5 or less. Let's go down on 21. So frequency input, it's about 15 meters, I think. Press the tuner button. SWR was down nice and low, but I 1.5. Let's hold it down. Still 1.5. Let's just try 20 meters. Hold the tuner button down. Now, even though that said it's below 1.5, even um, you can transmit, but you might not necessarily be heard. But I have been heard on 14 megs, so 20 meters. But when I tried it on 7 megs, um, a friend of mine who was about a mile away said you sound too too distant now. So I'll go up a bit. So I'll try 14, 220 for example. Let's try the tuner again. Still sounding safe to transmit. But just because it's uh, sounding safe doesn't mean you're actually going to get heard. 
So 3.5 megs, no, no chance. It just uh, say it's safe, but you won't be you won't be heard at all. But I was heard on 14 megs. Not tried on 21 megs yet, um, but I have tried it on 28, and it's worked absolutely fine. So it was how to set the LDG tuner up on an ICOM IC718. Hope you found this video of some use. If you have, get a thumbs up. If you don't like it, the other button seems to work as well. Thanks to all my recent new subscribers. And I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ. And this was my first video of 2019. 7 threes.